Welcome to the Miracles and Science Center for Continuous Personal and Professional Development. Day, the 1st of July, brand new month, and they come with a brand new daily life lesson. At the Miracles and Science Transformative Center, we transform your life for the better. Sail above life's problems in healthy, in relationships, in finances, in education, and in general well-being. Join any of our life transformative programs by visiting www.transformativecenter.com. This day life lesson tells us that it is always better to be kind than right. It touches on human nature, me and you. The attributes that we have, one of them is kindness and another one is rightness. So this day life lesson tells us that in a situation when you are confronted with two choices, to be right or to be kind, it tells us that you should always choose to be kind than right. Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. So for you to be kind, a number of three reasons that you should be able to consider to always be kind. One is that kindness is inexhaustible. Something that is inexhaustible means that it is something that cannot be spent and consumed completely. Meaning that kindness, the store of kindness, the kindness within you, the kindness within me, the kindness within everybody is inexhaustible. Meaning that you can extend kindness to a person, kindness to something that is living like a plant or an animal, something that is not living also needs kindness. So when you do that, don't expect that it is going to be exhausted. It is infinite. Kindness is like love. Also, some people have claimed, for example, that they no longer have love, that their love for somebody has been exhausted. No. Just like kindness, just like love, it is inexhaustible. Therefore, you should be able to extend kindness without the fear that it is going to be exhausted. That is one. The second is that you gain much more when you extend kindness than even to the person, to the thing, and to any other, whether animate or inanimate creature that you are extending kindness to. Psychology has shown and demonstrated from time and again that people who extend kindness, they benefit psychologically. They have much more psychological stability than those that don't extend kindness. Therefore, extending kindness has a psychological benefit that you can be able to expect to get. Secondly, example from biology. Biology tells us that actually people who extend kindness have a physiological benefit. There is something that happens in the body physiologically that brings about well-being for those people who extend kindness. Therefore, with those two examples from psychology and from biology, you find that you gain more when you extend kindness. Thirdly, when you extend kindness, kindness, you lose nothing. Kindness is inexhaustible, as you have already pointed out. Being inexhaustible, it means that you don't lose anything. There is no cost that you incur in extending kindness, even when it happens to extending kindness through giving material contribution to others. You should always know that there is nothing that you are losing in doing that. When you calculate the net loss and the net benefit that there is when you extend kindness, always there is a net gain when you extend kindness. So for these three reasons, it is important to always be kind. Also, we see that in offices, in businesses, in organizations, in social interactions, there are some people who always insist always on being right. And here I'm going to give you three reasons why you should never to always insist on being right. Reason number one, you do not have all the data. You do not have all the statistics. You do not have all the information. You do not have all the knowledge for you to claim that you are right. Sometimes, yes, it may happen where you claim you are right, provided you have adequate data, adequate statistics, adequate information, adequate knowledge. But in most cases, we don't have such. And therefore, it becomes very hard to stand, confirm with a lot of emphasis that we are right. Always review. Do you have adequate data, adequate statistics, adequate information, 
adequate knowledge for you to claim that you are right, you forget and you cannot remember everything. Human nature shows that our memory is limited in terms of retrieval of information, in terms of retrieval of what we have seen, in terms of retrieval of what we have heard. There is a limitation in that aspect. If I may ask you just an example, can you remember the food that you ate on the 2nd of July, for example, 2021, or the dress that you put on on the 1st of April, 2020, I can bet you don't remember. You have to scratch your head, you have to find all, but eventually you may even not be able to remember these simple questions that I have asked you. What it means is that we have limitations in terms of our memory, therefore, we cannot claim to be right, and yet we know that we cannot remember everything. Our memory is limited. Number three, everything changes. There is a saying that change is the only constant thing in nature. Everything changes. So if you are making a decision, claiming that you are right, based on what you knew a week ago, things may have changed. If you are trying to make a decision, claiming that you are right, based on the information, on the data, on the statistics that you had three days ago, things may have changed. Sometimes in our social spheres of life, we find people making decisions based on information, data, statistics they have about somebody of three days ago. Yes, you may have that of three days ago, but the person may have changed from three days ago to present. Even if it was yesterday, the person you're talking about was yesterday is different from the person today. The person you knew as bad yesterday may have repented last night and today is a very virtuous person. Therefore, if you make your decision based on information that is not current, things may have changed and therefore you cannot stand firm and claim and insist that you are right. For these three reasons, it is important to remember that it is better to be kind than to be right. And this has been our daily lesson for today.